Life in the Womb The Bible Speaks Genesis chapter 25, verses 21, 22, and 24 Rebecca, Isaac's wife, conceived, and the children struggled together within her. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. Note 1. In Genesis 25-22, the twins within Rebekah, in her womb, are called not potential human beings or clumps of cells, but children. The scriptures clearly give these unborn boys, Jacob and Esau, the status of being fully human. Furthermore, God knew their future lives even before their birth. Exodus 21, verse 22, King James Version If men strive and hurt a woman with child, so that her fruit depart from her, and Exodus 21, verse 22, from the message. When there's a fight, and in the fight, a pregnant woman is hit so that she miscarries. Note 2a. When Exodus 21, 22 says, woman with child, this means that the fetus within her has the same value as a born child. Note 2b, the words, so that her fruit depart from her, refers to a miscarriage. Scripture mentions this to show that God cares for the unborn also. Ecclesiastes 11 verse 5, King James Version As thou knowest not how the bones do grow in the womb of her that is with child, and from the New Living Translation, Just as you cannot understand the path of the wind, or the mystery of a tiny baby growing in its mother's womb, so you cannot understand the activity of God who does all things. Some manuscripts read, Just as you cannot understand how breath comes to a tiny baby in its mother's womb. Note 3. Ecclesiastes 11.5 describes the development of life in the uterus, and the term used is her that is with child. Question. Is this simply an archaic way of saying that she is pregnant? Answer. Any woman who wants her own child is elated, full of joy, when she finds out that she is expecting for she knows that a unique human life is soon to be born into the world. Psalm 139, verses 13 to 16, King James Version You created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful, I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. Note 4. Psalm 139 verses 13 to 16 describes the early stages of pregnancy. God saw the unformed body and foreknew all the days this person would live before one of them had actually happened. To God, that unformed fetus was fully a human being. Job chapter 3, verses 11 and 16, King James Version Why died I not from the womb, or as an hidden, untimely birth I had not been, 
as infants which never saw the light. And from the message, why wasn't I still born, and buried with all the babies who never saw light? Note 5. In Job 3.16, the King James Version says, Infants. The message paraphrase says, Babies. Both acknowledge the unborn as a real human child. Isaiah 44, verse 2, King James Version. This is what the Lord says, He who made you, who formed you in the womb, and who will help you. Note 6. Is Isaiah 44 2 not just literary versification? The Bible does use poetic expression to encapsulate truth, but what is this truth? God is at work forming the unborn according to the design laws he has set in motion. In cases of deformity, we do not say God was the cause but he works within the framework of a fallen world. He is actively engaged and interested in the as yet unborn child. Isaiah 49 verse 1, King James Version Listen, the Lord hath called me from the womb. From the bowels of my mother hath he made mention of my name. Note 7. In Isaiah 49, verse 1, God sees Isaiah's unborn life in its fullness, while he is still a fetus. God had already chosen a name for his servant. This embryo was to become the great gospel prophet. What a loss to the world if he had miscarried. Jeremiah 1, verse 5. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. I have appointed you a prophet to the nations. Note 8. Jeremiah 1.5 speaks strongly of God's foreknowledge even before conception. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. In time past, God knew Jeremiah would one day be conceived, born, and serve him as a suffering yet faithful prophet. Hosea 12, verse 3. In the womb he, Jacob, took his brother Esau by the heel. Note 9. The prophet Hosea writes that Jacob took hold of Esau's heel in the womb. Even before his birth, Jacob was fulfilling God's purpose for him. Luke 1, 41 When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby, John the Baptist, leapt in her womb. Note 10 in Luke 1.41, the life in Elizabeth's uterus is called a baby. And before his birth, while in Mary's womb, Jesus is named Lord. Luke 1.15, he, John the Baptist, shall be filled with the Holy Ghost even from his mother's womb. Note 11. John the Baptist was filled with God's Spirit while still developing in Elizabeth, his mother's uterus. And that unborn child leapt when he heard the voice of Jesus' mother, Mary. Matthew 1.18 now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When, as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, 
she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Note 12. From conception by the Holy Spirit, Mary was found with child, Matthew 1.18, and became the mother of my Lord, Luke 1.43. Therefore we conclude that human life exists as a full human being and is worthy of respect from the moment of conception. In closing, Deuteronomy 21, verse 9. Put away the guilt of innocent blood from among you, when thou shalt do that which is right in the sight of the Lord. The context of this verse is the murder of a human being by an unknown hand, verse 1, and does not specifically speak to the issue of abortion, yet the principle abides, put away the guilt of innocent blood from among you.